case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in 2004 the united states court of appeals for the third circuit heard the case of holmes v smith which revolved around the statute of limitations for unjust enrichment claims and the clarity required for the acknowledgement of debt clarence holmes sued willard smith better known as will smith alleging a breach of contract and claiming a share of group earnings from their time together in the group DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. The district court ruled against Holmes, finding that his claims were time-barred under the statute of limitations. Holmes appealed the decision, but the court upheld the initial ruling. The judges determined that the acknowledgment doctrine, which would have required Smith to clearly acknowledge the debt he owed Holmes, was not satisfied in this case. Although Holmes claimed that he and Smith had agreed to equal membership within the group, their addendum to the recording agreement did not specifically grant Holmes a share of the profits, and neither Smith nor their fellow member, Jeffrey Towns, had signed the document. Ultimately, the court affirmed the district court's decision, finding that even if the statute of limitations were told for a continuing contract, Holmes's quantum Meruit claim was still time-barred. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.